Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Disneyland to see if we can have the perfect day. So let's get going. Disney California Adventure. Disneyland. <laughs> very, very stark difference. Now you may say, Trevor, why are you trying to do this perfect day on one of the busiest days of the year? Well, I'm glad you asked. And that's because I want to prove that you could still have a great time at Disneyland even during spring break, which is easily the worst time to come. And how do we determine what makes it the most perfect day? Well, we have a list. And on that list, one of those things is walking down the main street. So we're gonna check one of them off right now because it's another beautiful day at Disneyland. Clear blue skies, sunshine, and we're at Disney. It's gotta be a beautiful day, right? Now, where did this list come from? I asked on YouTube in a community post what you guys thought would be the perfect day at Disneyland, and I curated a full list of everything that you guys think need to happen in order to consider it a successful day. And surprisingly, maybe not surprisingly, Pirates of the Caribbean was the number one mention. So that's on the list, naturally. But it is not where we are going to begin as we approach the rope drop crowds. Now for the number of people that we saw outside the park, the rope drop crowd here is actually not too bad. But we're coming over here to go to Space Mountain first, as is typical for us. If you have watched any of my rope drop videos, Space Mountain is where we tend to go to begin. That made the list, even though it's one of my personal favorite rides. You guys put it on there. Well, it's already been about 15 minutes and we're just getting into the loading room. So a little bit longer than usual, but it is a busy spring break day. My plan already got thrown out the window. Now, the list that you saw on our screen was the order in which I was planning on doing things. <laughs> and uh, Rise of the Resistance is closed. Surprise, surprise. I should say it's 8.30 in the morning. Space Mountain is up to a 65 minute wait now. Um, and with Rise closed and Pirates closed, Big Thunder Mountain has a 45 minute wait, which is a little unusual first thing in the morning. And that's where I was gonna go next. However, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway says it's a five minute wait still. We're gonna go up to Toontown and see if that's the case. Now, there were a whole bunch more things that you guys recommended that didn't make the list. How did I choose what made the list? Well, of course it was based on frequency. So when I saw something get mentioned quite a few times, that made the list. And uh, later on today, actually, Cafe Orleans Dinner, surprising, was one that got mentioned, I don't know, like about 10 times. You all love Cafe Orleans, and I'm so glad because we you love too. Cafe Orleans as well, oh, especially Amy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love looking at the entrance of this attraction. They did a really good job with this one. It says it's still posted at a five minute wait. I guess we'll see if that's the case. Well, we did practically walk straight in. Uh, we were the first people stopped for the next theater performance. So probably a little bit longer than five minutes because of that. However, like you could see how empty the line is. It's pretty great. So Amy's goal in this um, ride is to look for crabs. She said there are crabs in every scene. And, and I don't know where to look for them. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. He was over there. Oh, wait, I, I didn't get to point the camera at it fast enough. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Crabs over there on the wall. Oh, there's another one? Oh, over there.
<laughs> well, that was fun. It's about 8.55 now. Uh, how many crabs did we see on the attraction? Uh, four or five? <laughs> it was good fun looking for those. Uh, made a nice little change. Uh, Rise of the Resistance has opened up now. Pirates of the Caribbean has opened up now. So Big Thunder's down to 30. We could go to Fantasyland, which is obviously closer. And I figure that's what most of you would probably do. But you know us. We like to walk clear across the park all the time, all day long. So we're going to go. I think we're going to go do Big Thunder. That's just what we're going to go do. Get our exercise in. While we were on our way to Big Thunder, another item got checked off the list. And that was, you said you have to get a family photo in front of the castle. And to make it a little bit harder, we decided to make it with a photo pass person so that they would do the photo for us. You know, you'd have a little bit of a line there. No line when we walked by, so still got it done pretty quickly. Uh, we don't usually do that. So that's a nice little thing to show you right here. Amy is on the hunt for baby ducks. So as we go into Frontierland, she's prowling all around, looking at the places where there are usually ducks. I see a duck over there, but don't necessarily see any babies. I saw all of them the last time I was here over by Critter Country. So we might need to go over there to find baby ducks. We are taking a slight detour, however, to get some breakfast. And here we go, our chimichanga. Now we're gonna go wait in line with this. This is posted at a 30 minute wait, but, but, <laughs> there's no line. I mean, there is a little bit over there, but this is definitely not 30 minutes. We'll see what the actual posted time, well not posted, but the actual wait is, because no way this is 30, no way, none. Like, I'd be surprised if it's 10. That's how short this line is. Where's your hat? <gasps> Slinky dog, you took it off because this is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Well, here comes our train and it has been 14 minutes. They didn't have as many trains on the track as I expected. It's still amazing considering it was posted at 30. That's never happened before. <laughs> they loaded a new train on right in front of us and they must have loaded on another one and they had to stop us in the um, dynamite scene in order to make space. That's my guess, because it wasn't that long. Like we were stopped for 15 seconds max. I don't even think that long. Still posted at 30, but the line is sticking out of the queue. So now it looks 30. Well, now we're just gonna go straight over here to Pirates of the Caribbean. It says it's a 20 minute wait. I'm not sure I believe it, given the line, but we'll deal with it, whatever it is. Amy started a timer, cause I think this is somewhere in the ballpark of 30 to 40, but I could be overestimating it. And the wait time changed to 30. Yeah, that's more like it. I believe that. We didn't show them cause they're kind of over across the path, but I saw my baby duck. So I'm done. I had my perfect day. Let's go. It's been 25 minutes and we have finally stepped into this room, of course. Tiny bit of time to go, but 30, yeah, 30 will be pretty accurate. What I wouldn't give to see the look on Captain Jack Sparrow's face when ears tell did only me what's the fuck but we just got off Pirates and Jungle Cruise is also on our list. Wasn't gonna do it now, but uh, we're eating at Bengal Barbecue in just a little bit and it's getting close to lunch, so we're gonna ride this first. I don't know what the wait time is posted at. I didn't actually see it. Benjamin says 20. That's what I'm thinking. Like, is there even a line? Depends on whether it goes upstairs or not. That's the thing. And and it's not even going upstairs. So that's definitely gonna be a lot faster then. In fact, there's not even a line right here. Like I never take the right, never take the right, but it's completely empty. I'm gonna be on the next boat, of course, but still. Uh, that's how long we waited. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna go to your right hand side. You guys are gonna see the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Dr. Jones, looking for some hidden treasure. 
He's never gonna find it over there. I'm very clearly right here on this boat. Yeah, I'm a pretty rare gem if I do say so myself. My parents say otherwise. They actually prefer my sister because she makes more money than I do. But do you guys wanna hear the worst part about that story? Yeah, my sister works here too. The eighth wonder of the world, the dark side of the world. Oh, two, eight, oh, It is still a little early for lunch because that didn't take any time at all. But anyway, we're gonna go to Bengal Barbecue because we're here and I don't feel like coming back. Now, Bengal Barbecue was only on like one, maybe two of your lists for perfect day. But this meets Amy and I's for sure. So we added this as like our own little personal choice. And here it is. This is our spread. We have four chicken skewers, one for each of us. And then we have two banyan, that's one for each Amy and I. And then two Bengal, the boys are gonna split one of those and I'm gonna have the other one. Spoiler alert, when we're done with lunch, we're going to this place behind us. And Amy's gonna eat her favorite thing at Disneyland. Yep. <laughs> Is the reason it's your favorite? Nice and spicy. I gave James one of my spicy beef chunks. What did you think? Too spicy. Too spicy? <laughs> Amy and I, on the other hand, love the spice. So I think it was pretty good. I can see why it wouldn't like it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Time for a Dole Whip. There's no one here. I mean, there is, but no, no people. And uh, this almost is entirely for the boys. This was on your guys' list. Probably the most recommended treat for a perfect day at Disneyland. You have to eat a pineapple Dole Whip. Now, I'm not partaking of it because I'm watching my sugar currently. Um, Amy might have a bite. I got a spoon for her. I'll have a bite. Yeah. Especially after that man you beef skewer, my mouth will burn. And... <laughs> I feel like a broken record, but we're going to Walt Disney World in May. That's like our family vacation. And I think I've said this in a previous video, but I usually watch my sugar in the months leading up to a Walt Disney World trip so that I can drop a few pounds so that whenever I get there, I can eat whatever I want without feeling guilty or bloated or anything like that. Um, so it's just something that I do. I call it the Disney diet. It's not a diet of Disney food. It's just a diet before I go to Disney. <laughs> when we go to Magic Kingdom, we want to get the Tropical Serenade float when we're out there because it is a Dole Whip, but with Pog Juice. And if you don't know what Pog Juice is, you gotta look it up. We had a, a lot when we were in Hawaii and there are a few places at Disney World where you can get it and it is amazing. Now going to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room was on the list. Unfortunately, it is closed for refurb. Surprise appearance on the refurb calendar. And uh, yeah, not gonna be able to do it today. But wow, is it a gorgeous day. Perfect blue sky, wonderful sunshine. Ah, oh, I love it, especially with the trees starting to flower. And what? the fact that it's been raining like crazy the past couple of weeks, so we are very happy to see blue sky. Like, That's very so true. happy to see blue sky. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the pearly band in front of the castle up there. Next up, a few of you said that going to Fantasyland and riding dark rides made part of the perfect day. You didn't say what dark rides in particular, which I'm glad of because we are not doing Peter Pan, but we are gonna go do uh, Snow White, then Pinocchio's, and Mr. Toad's. Those are gonna be the three that we're gonna try to knock out. All the rides right now are a minimum of 30 minutes. It is getting busier now that it is after 11 o'clock. In fact, looking across the way here, Peter Pan's flight is actually temporarily closed. Might be why the rest of the rides up here in Fantasyland are so long at the moment. So, how to see the Snow White with it to be sure the rides? It was posted at 30 and it was only 18, not bad. One thing that we love about the kids getting older is they can sit together in the front row and Amy and I get to sit together in the back. Where is she? She's missing. No magic mirror on the wall. With this disguise out. Oh, that's what she said. 
And we're just gonna walk right next door here to Pinocchio's Daring Journey. It is sticking out of the queue, but I don't think it's 30 minutes either. I just double checked and it is still posted at 30 though. And the wait on this one was 14 minutes, so also not 30. There you go boys, up in the front again. And next is going to be Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Now this one legitimately could be 30 minutes because this queue is pretty full. Timer is about 25 minutes, so not quite 30. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here we go. Benji's riding with me this time. That's the Peter Pan line, and that looks much more like normal. It says it is a 60 minute wait, yep. The, and it's probably longer than that, given uh, how the ADA line works and how popular this ride is. Now we almost never do this. I mean, we ride the Disneyland Railroad occasionally, but it's few and far between. This is definitely completely because you guys put it on your list of things you have to do for a perfect day at Disneyland. And here it comes. It's the E.P. Ripley. Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. We're embarking on a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of them all. And, off in the distance, Majestic Matterhorn Mountain. We just got off the train and another thing that we have to do as part of our perfect day is get a photo with a character. And uh, we're gonna go, I think we're gonna do Chip. He's my favorite. There they go. Oh. <laughs> right here, look here. Oh, perfect, excellent. Thank you, Chip, you're the best. Oh, oh, Goofy's intruding on our photo. <laughs> and it looks like Dale's going away too. One person mentioned the Main Street Cinema, maybe two, I don't remember, but we'll pop in here because, well, there's never a line, so why not, right? Make sure you always say hi to Tilly. Hey, Tilly, see you later. Well, this is just a really great place, especially in the summertime, to come in because they do have a couple of benches around here and you can sit down and um, it's not necessarily air conditioned per se, but it is out of the sun, out of the heat, and it's a, a good way to, to rest and relax during the summertime especially. Is this Steamboat Willie? Oh, there he is. Mickey the Mouse. All right, the boys got churros. We had to get to one of these iconic snacks for the perfect day. I asked on a poll whether you guys preferred Mickey beignets or churros, and churros won by about 60 to 40%. So lots of people said churros, and um, we had about equal number in the comments when we asked about the perfect day. So boys are eating the churros again. They're taking all the sugar for us. <laughs> I'm still eating some. Speaking of polls, James had a question that he wanted to ask you all to answer down in the comments, and that is, what is your favorite land at Disneyland? 
Of course, Magic Happens is gonna be a part of the perfect day as well. And I see people already camping out. It is an hour and a half before the parade and people are starting to camp out. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to think about doing that as well. Well, one of our viewers just came up and said uh, hi to us. So always lovely to meet you guys. Um, but they told us that what's happening right now on Main Street is actually a um, dance performance, essentially. Uh, so you know how they sometimes have high school bands and things come through? That's kind of what's going on. So it's not magic happens. It's that. So we're going to go ride um, Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. And then we'll get a spot for Magic Athens. All right, you junior space rangers, listen up. Zerg is using the stolen battery cells to energize his secret weapon. We asked the boys, what's one thing that you absolutely have to do at Disneyland? And they said Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. So riding this ride is on their perfect day list. Not my best, but I do like that I ended on a completely even number. Love it. You got 140,000, great job, James. The ride was posted at 30 minutes when we hopped in line, but it quickly switched to 40 before we even went through the little like entrance gate. While we were in line, it went up to 50 and our total wait was 55 minutes. So um, yeah, not always can you tell, um, you know, even by wait times that are posted. A lot of the times it really depends on Genie Plus. Um, I've talked about that in other videos. I'm not gonna belabor it here. Despite the really long wait, we're still having an amazing day today at Disneyland. So you hit uh, Zerg, didn't you? And you got 50,000 points for hitting Zerg's yeah. chest plate. That's not fair. I haven't hit Zerg ever. You haven't? I don't think so. I have bad <laughs> aim with that ride. <laughs> the Disneyland band to play it. And of course, part of my perfect day is getting a pineapple spear. Always have to do this. Amy just went and got it. She's been a trooper. She actually held our spot for Magic Happens while we were riding the uh, Buzz Lightyear there. But um, uh, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so good. These pineapple spears have never let me down. I get them all the time. Perfect weather for the perfect day with the perfect view of the perfect parade. Perfect parade was paint the night, but that has not come back, sadly. I hope it does one day, but this is actually still a really, really good parade. that parade. Now, I think we're having a perfect day, but James just told me we can't have a perfect day because Tiki Room is closed. So let me know if you agree with him. Instead, we're going to make do with Beauty and the Beast. We have never done this one. We've done the Tangled Show, not the Beauty and the Beast one. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm Mr. Spike and I'm Mr. Jones. I how is each and everybody doing today? Welcome to the theater, the famous royal theater, and why we're in the theater. I say let's do a play. I say, yes, Mr. Spike. What story shall we play as play today? Might I suggest a tale as old as time? A song as old as rhyme. Beauty and the Beast. Wait a minute, what are you doing? 
Wait, you're Paul Francais? You're speaking French? Oui. Why are you speaking French? Well, since my story begins in a small provincial town in France, I thought it might be a good idea to go. Set the mood. Set the mood? And how long have you been speaking French? Well, what time is it now? That's what I thought. Actually, it's time for you to introduce our royal visitor. It is. We. It is the deepest pride and greatest pleasure. So we welcome you today. And now we invite you to give a warm welcome to our royal guest. The one and only Mademoiselle Bell! Mr. Jones is pretending to be Gaston. I know, it's just that Gaston had much bigger muscles. Oh! <laughs> Well, that was fun. I didn't film the whole thing because, well, I just wanted to enjoy it. I've actually never seen that show before. I've seen the Tangled one a couple of times. Love the Fantasy Fair Theater. Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones are so hilarious. Always a good time. Although I think I do like the Tangled show just a tad better. What did you think of the Beauty and the Beast show? I liked it. I forgot how funny the two guys are. So when they started seeing I was like, oh yeah, I really like these guys. <laughs> we have a half an hour to kill until our dinner reservation at Cafe Orleans. So we're gonna come to the Mark Twain Riverboat. Mark one. Mark Twain. Mark Twain is not just the name of a riverboat or a great American author. It also means the water here is two fathoms deep. As we head into the remote areas of the rivers of America, you're in for a real treat. I've been navigating these parts for years now. Ah, oh, haven't done that one in quite a while, actually. Been a while since we've been on the Mark Tank. Well, it's been closed for like six months, too. And now it's time for Cafe Orleans. The last time we were here was Amy's birthday last year, so it has been what uh, 14 15 months now maybe even more than that 16 16 months 15 months <laughs> oh okay <laughs> well i was just thinking this is the fourth month of the year that's yeah, all i was thinking really. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to be seated on the patio area here instead of inside actually i think we've only eaten inside once oh look it's practically the table that we sat at when we had amy's birthday all right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the menu and see if anything has changed since last time. Um, the beef bourguignon. I felt like they had a beef short rib last time, not the, the bourguignon. I, I probably am really bad pronouncing the names here. We're thinking about trying the Monte Cristo, consider we've never done that before. The only thing that, that, that I hesitate on is the battered and fried, which just sounds unhealthy. Um, the other thing to consider is the chicken jambalaya pasta, so uh, we'll see. In the end, we actually did order the Monte Cristo because we have never tried it from here, so we figured we should actually try their signature item here. We also got one for the boys, so they're going to share one, we're going to share one, and of course we had to get one first. The last time that we got them both kids' meals, the kids' meals were terrible. Here's a little clip. Yeah, so we went with an adult meal this time and just split it in half for them. I mean, it is really nice to sit here at Cafe Orleans because you get to watch the Mark Twain River go boat go by, although only until six o'clock. I think it closes at six, but it is nice just to people watch the uh, New Orleans Square area here. And here it is, our Monte Cristo. Now I did make the mistake, or I guess the informative uh, decision-making thing here, of looking this up online. And apparently it has 96 grams of sugar. It told you I'm trying to avoid my sugar. So most of it is the, uh, the powdered sugar here on the outside I'm gonna brush off. It's gonna be the preservatives that I'm not gonna put on. And um, a lot of it also apparently is in the egg bread. So I'm gonna take a couple of bites and then probably just eat the insides and the pom frites. But um, we're at least gonna give this a try. Okay, so Amy is going to have the first try of the Monte Cristo sandwich. It's good. Is it good? It's like French toast meets grilled cheese. Is it the best thing you've had here? 
I really like the gumbo here, but considering this is really good and palm frites are always amazing, this is I can see why this is their popular item. Okay. It tastes like a ham and cheese sandwich and a French toast stick. Did you just say that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I agree with you then. That, that's pretty good. I do like it a lot. Amy, Amy. Palm frites, palm frites. Mmm. Mm. So good. But, I'm going to get sauce. Uh, I'm, I'm going sauceless right now. But, but it is still really good all the same because of the, the Parmesan and all that. Thank you everyone for selecting this place for our perfect day at Disneyland video. Now, as we mentioned, the boys also got a Monte Cristo and Benjamin's just chowing down on those palm frits. Although that's what we call them frits. I think it's frites. I don't know. I'm really bad at pronouncing things, just so you guys know. Yeah, both of you uh, remember to eat your sandwich, not just your French fries. That is hard to do here because the fries are just that good. But they are, I don't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> I just told Benjamin we're going to go to Rise of the Resistance. Always a good day when you get to go to Cafe Orleans. Mm -hmm. Now we have one final thing to do in this perfect day video. I was going to leave it as like a bonus just in case, but <gasps> we did get to see baby ducks in the end. Oh, look, that's not the item. That's, this isn't the item. Baby duck, so now it's oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he was he was he got separated. <laughs> okay, your your day is yep, perfect. Yep, I, I yep, yep. My day is We're good. Easily distracted by baby ducks. I think I've said that before, but but no, the uh, the item that was going to be like a bonus that we weren't sure we were going to be able to fit in was Rise of the Resistance because it it's hovered around like 120 minutes today. Um, uh, last I looked, maybe 10 minutes ago, it was at 45, and that's I think that's pretty typical for the evening. Don't know if it's still going to be at that by the time we get there. I, I hope it is. Uh, we're going to find out. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is the back of the queue, and it's full. It says it's 65, but uh, the whole outdoor queue is full. Like, it's it's usually 45 when you go straight to the caves. And that's not just 20 minutes of, of traffic out there, though. That's a lot. So I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do it. It all depends on how many lightning lanes there are. Well, do you want to chance it or not? I don't know, because at the same time, the boys have school tomorrow. Yeah, maybe we should just head I back. Think we've, I think we've had we a had perfect a really day. Good day. Yeah, we have. We ended on dinner, ended on baby ducks. Ended on baby ducks, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we've made a concession. Since we're not gonna do Rise of the Resistance, we are gonna come down here and do the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, especially consider it's closing in a month. Now it's posted at 25, but looking at the queue, they're not using any of the extensions. So I'm going to say it's probably like 10. That's what Amy thinks. But this is probably about a 10 minute wait. And I would agree with her. That was the longest 25 minutes ever. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. A bear named Winnie the Pooh set off in search of money. Well, that was good. Always love Winnie the Pooh. Now, as far as Rise of the Resistance goes, ideally like 7.30 would be when I would want to check again. But as Amy said, the kids have to go back to school tomorrow after a long break, so they might have trouble waking up in the a.m. Uh, we'll see. So we're not going to actually stay that late and find out. But uh, that's, I mean, based on what we experienced, what, a month ago? Was it a month? About a month? Um, 7.30 was a decent time, right? Yeah. So, so that's a, a, a good time if you don't, well, I mean, 
I know people like to rope drop it. Don't rope drop it. It's always broken. That's the thing. It's it was broken, broken today. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for our time here today at Disneyland. Let me know down in the comments whether you feel like we had the perfect day today or not. Then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on the way out. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching and we will see you again next time.